City in 2021 in Munich. My name is Jessica and I'm about to do an exclusive walk around with you and with our all new EQE. It's the younger brother of our EQS and as you'll see, it comes with all the bells and whistles. But who can tell us a lot more about this car is Isabel. She's the product manager of the EQE. Hey, Isabel. Hi, Jessica, and thanks for having me. And also welcome to you and welcome to the presentation of our new EQE. There is so much to tell you about this car. So where do you want to start? Okay, so what I immediately noticed are these beautiful proportions, these sporty lines, which we think already know from the EQS, right? True, that's correct. But maybe we can first start here, just yeah. at the front, okay. with one of the EQ characteristics, which is the black panel grille yeah. with star pattern. Yeah, beautiful. I personally, I, I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's, that's like one of the highlights in the front. Mm -hmm. So when we move to the side of the car, you can see beautifully the one bow design. So it actually really just, it's one bow from front to rear, as you can see here. Yeah, beautiful. Our designers have another approach, which, which is called central purity. Okay. You can see that by the generously modeled surfaces, mm -hmm. reduced joints, and also seamless transitions. Mm -hmm. Another highlight standing here at the side of the car are the 21 inch wheels. Yeah, they're huge. Right. <laughs> I, I quite like them. And uh, the good news is we start with 19 inch wheels at okay. the EQE. Okay. So that's also okay, quite big. Yeah. <laughs> so other models start at 17. So mm -hmm. very proud of that. Also the black, of course, it looks super sporty. So it does. Yeah. And you just say it. What I really like about this EQE, it just doesn't look sporty. It is. So what I read is that it has an incredibly small turning cycle due to yeah. rear axle steering, right? Yeah, true. We, we also have, just like in the EQS, we have the rear axle steering. Mm -hmm. It comes in two versions, four and a half and 10 degrees okay. up to, wow. depending on the situation. And what it does, it reduces the turning cycle from 12.5 to 10.7 meters, wow. which is actually like A-class level. Yeah, exactly. That is so, what my A-class can do, right. maybe. <laughs> so that's, I mean, for, for this segment, awesome. That's, that's awesome, yeah. Okay, so we got this beautiful exterior design. Now let's talk about sustainability. Sure. Let's go to the other side of the car. Okay. For example, we have Mercedes Me Charge with green charging. Okay. Mercedes-Benz ensures that energy from renewable sources is fed into the charging grid for current sourced via Mercedes Me Charge. Okay. We have one of the densest charging networks with over 530,000 charging stations in 31 countries, okay. 200,000 of them in Europe. And also we have one new function which is called plug and charge, mm -hmm. which makes charging even more conveniently. So basically, I cannot show you today because we don't have a cable yeah. and the car is closed, but we would just insert the cable and the charging process would start. So the customer doesn't need to have authentication. Okay. Which is quite cool. So yeah, pretty convenient. Makes it easier, right. Okay, so after the charging process, I think we need to talk about range. This car comes with a range of up to 660 kilometers, according to VLTP, I think, yeah. So this is a trip maybe from Munich to Berlin. With this range, what would your first EQE trip be? Ooh, tough one, but maybe. I don't know, maybe I would go to Venice for a long, long weekend trip. Yeah. As this car is definitely suitable for touring and also for long distance. Okay, so we got convenient long distance driving. What about the power? Good question. We will have two variants at Market Lounge. This one, the EQE 350 with 215 kilowatts mm -hmm. and one other model. And in the future, there will come more variants with a power of up to 500 kilowatts. Wow, okay. So that's huge. Definitely. Yeah. But maybe we can hop inside. Yeah, let's do this. And I'll show you another important feature about electric driving, which is called electric intelligence. Sounds good. You take the driver's seat because you're the expert. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, so electric intelligence. Is it the same feature like in the EQS, like it combines my route planning and the planning of my charging stops? Right, exactly correct. It dynamically adapts the route for example, if there is a traffic jam or other incidents, and also if you would, for example, <laughs> maybe drive, uh, drive fast for a longer period of time, mm -hmm. it would add another charging stop along the way. So it helps me out. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, definitely impossible to overlook when getting in. But now let's finally talk about it. The hyperscreen, big, big hyperscreen. Um, we know it from the EQS and I think it's available as an optional extra for the EQE. 
also correct. <laughs> you did your homework. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm personally super happy that we can offer it also for the EQE. I mean, yeah, just look at it. It's huge. It's curved glass, three displays. I mean, I'm, I'm a total fan. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. And of course, it features our MBUX, our infotainment system. I have it in my A-class as well. And what I really love is the voice assistant. It's super handy, right? Hey Mercedes supports 27 languages with natural language understanding. Okay. MBUX adapts completely to the user and also learns by time, mm -hmm. which is also a new and quite handy feature. With the uh, MBUX hyperscreen, What's new also is the zero layer concept. What that means is everything you need is always on one screen. So you, you don't have to go to sub menus anymore, okay. which is also a super handy feature. Yeah. Makes life easier. We yeah. like that. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. So um, what I spotted when looking around is this little dot right here in the display. Uh, is this a camera? Yeah, true. Well okay. spotted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, if it's a camera, what is it for? It's actually for assistant systems. Mm -hmm. One new function that we have at Mercedes is micro sleep detection. Okay. So what it does, it just tracks your eyelid movements or the ones of the driver mm -hmm. and then just gives warnings. I see, pretty helpful feature when it comes to safety. Yes. Are there more new things in here? Of course. Of course. <laughs> for example, um, we're now able to uh, watch dynamic content um, while driving. Okay. So And this is only possible because Mercedes uses an intelligent camera-based blocking logic, which detects when the driver looks too long on the dynamic content. And when this happens, the content just gets automatically dimmed. Okay, perfect. Another safety feature. Right, mm -hmm. another safety feature, but also another entertainment feature mm -hmm. for, for the passenger. Mm -hmm. What's also cool and what Mercedes does is thinking about air quality holistically. Mm -hmm. So the system contains sensors, it contains air conditioning, it contains a filter and display content. Mm -hmm. The filter that I'm talking about is called the HIPAA filter. Mm -hmm. You also know that from the EQS. Yes, I do. It filters over 99% of particles of all sizes out of the air. Okay. What we also have is an active charcoal Okay. Of 600 grams, yeah. which filters and or neutralizes odors. Okay. So it's made to smell good. Okay. Make, make the car smell good. <laughs> yeah, okay. And um, that's equivalent to the size of, I think, 150 football fields. So okay. it's massive. Smells good is another point I want to talk about because we do not only know the HIPAA filter from the EQS, but also the thing that this car has its own fragrance. So the EQS has a fragrance. It's called, I think, Mood Linen Number no. 6. Right. What about the EQE? The EQE is supposed to be for all senses. So we do have the fragrance, but we also have new interior materials. For example, what we see here in the blue, mm -hmm. we have ambient lighting in so many different colors okay. and presets. And we also have specific sound presets, which the customer can choose from. In terms of noise and vibration comfort, the EQE here is one of the best among its segment. Okay, Isabel, to sum it up, what are the most important characteristics we have to understand to know where we can classify this newest product of our EQ family? The EQE is the little brother of the EQS mm -hmm. and is the sportiest member of the family. It has a little shorter wheelbase, is more compact and also more agile. It comes with all the cool features, the MBUX hyperscreen, automatic doors front and 10 degrees rear axis steering. With a range of up to 660 kilometers, it's definitely suitable for everyday life and also for long distance touring. So thank you so much, Isabel, for showing us around and for introducing us to the all-new EQE. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and thank you guys for joining and for watching. Get ready to receive more walkarounds. The concept Mercedes Maybach EQS, the AMG EQS and the concept EQG are still waiting for you. And if you want to have more info about our all-new EQE, get on our website mercedesbenz.com or check out our social media channels. Thank you so much for having us. Bye-bye.